The NFL legends gala is coming up celebrating 25 years of the Jags. And speaking of legends, I have one right here. <laughs> Mark Brunel, welcome back to River City Live. So this is a big event, and it actually it comes at a perfect time. Obviously, it's 25 years, yep. but there's also a spark with the franchise happening right now. There really is, and it all starts with our young quarterback, Gardner Minshew, who's just playing absolute great football right now. He's not playing like a rookie. You know, he goes out there, he competes, he plays hard. There's no quit in him, and he's really given a spark to this team. And he's surrounded by a good, a, a good team. Uh, Leonard Fournette had a really good game last week, 225 yards. The defense is our defense. They're, they're absolutely dominant. So uh, all reasons to get excited about this season. At 2-2, two and two, everything's in front of us. Yeah, especially, too, uh, with the conference that's wide open yep. right now. So obviously, we are fans of football, and there's a lot of fans you know, of football at home. So when you talk about this event that's coming up, it's a perfect opportunity to come on out and celebrate really 25 years of the NFL and the Jags. It's gone so fast, and, and 1995, when it all began, it seems like yesterday. And uh, But here we are 25 years later, and we're celebrating. And what do you do when, you, when you're celebrating something? You throw a party. So we're throwing <laughs> a party. It's October 12th, uh, the night before we play uh, New Orleans. It's our homecoming weekend. We've got 79, 80 uh, former Jaguars wow. that are going to be in attendance. It's a black tie event, red carpet. Uh, Channel 4 is going to cover it live. This is not going to be your typical sit-down dinner. Uh, somebody gets up and speaks, and we have a, you know, it's going to be a, a party. And it uh, sounds like fan engagement. Absolutely. And that's, it's I think, what people to the love fans. about it. It's yeah. open to the fans. You know, come on out. Uh, get a chance to talk with Fred Taylor and Tony Baselli, Jimmy Smith. Walk around, have a good time. We've got some live entertainment, some DJs. It's going to be a really good time, and uh, we're looking forward to it. And most importantly, all the proceeds are going to go to Tom Coughlin's J Fund. Uh, they do an incredible job for, for young people in our community, actually all over the country, uh, kids who are fighting cancer and, and their families, of course. We just felt that it was appropriate, Mark, to benefit a charity of the guy who brought us all here. You know, that really was the reason that, that I was able to play for the Jaguars and Tony Baselli was drafted. Um, so it's going to be a, a lot of fun, a lot of former players, and would love for fans to, to come on out. And Channel 4, we are covering it, so you could see it live, or you could actually go to the event. And uh, if you want to learn more, you can go to jacksevents.com to get tickets. But let's just talk real quickly. What has changed in the last 25 years? Because the game has evolved. In it many has. ways, to keep players safe, really, that's kind of like the movement, but it also changed the philosophy, if you will. Yeah, I think so. I think the biggest change is that there, we are doing our best to protect our players. Um, years ago, when I first got into the league, listen, those rules weren't in place. You could do whatever you wanted to a receiver coming across the middle. You or could, the quarterback or sitting there, the yeah. Quarterback. <laughs> so the quarterbacks are protected more. Uh, and, and, and that's smart because if, if, the, if the quarterback gets hit uh, and he gets knocked out, well, the backup comes in. And if you're anybody but the Jaguars, the backups <laughs> typically struggle a little bit. Uh, and you don't score as many points. Fans want to see points. So you protect the quarterback. And we're protecting the receivers, so there's more offense, more points, more yards, which is exciting for the fans. Um, so the, the game is, is more fun to watch, but for me, as a former player, I love the fact that players are, are being kept safe. Absolutely, and they're having longer careers, yes. which that's what yep. we want to see. And it's interesting because all these things happen for more offense, and then you look at last weekend, and there's a lot of games that look like baseball scores <laughs> yeah, as exactly. well. Because yeah. as soon as one evolves, defense figures out a way. And that's what I like about it is the mental side of the game. It is like playing chess it and really figuring is. out what to do. Uh, there's no question. And, and defensively, uh, I think the players, uh, I think they're bigger. I think they're faster. I think they're stronger. When I played there weren't a lot of Calais Campbells running around. Guys, I mean, if you saw him in person, Mark, you, uh, you've probably seen him. Yeah. You can't believe it. It's like, golly, and he's so athletic and so strong, and he's just enormous. There are a few guys like that, but there are a lot of guys that are just bigger, faster, and stronger, which makes the game really interesting. That's the other thing, too, is a lot of times, you know, like uh, dads on the sidelines like to comment on NFL players. They are so fast. Like, people don't realize. Like, linemen are super fast, especially than, like, the average yep. person. They don't get it, you know, credit or how, you know, just strong and how fast and things of that nature. I'll go on the sidelines before the home games, and every time, you know, Calais will walk by or, the, or some of the guys from the defensive line or the offensive line, and I think, Man, these guys are big. And I, <laughs> I spent 19 years of my life, you know, playing in, in, right. in this environment, but I'm, I'm still shocked every time I see how big these yes. guys are. And, oh, my gosh, it's amazing. But, uh, yeah, unless you're on the field and you see the speed of the game 
and how enormous these guys are, you really, you really don't. You know, Obviously, you still have a passion for it. Again, if you want to learn more about the gala, you can go to jacksevents.com. And recently, I had the chance to go out to Ace to 